to this. Glad to have you a part of this social media ministry of Messenger Church. I remind you that we are on air five days a week here with Ponder This, coming right from a book that I wrote a couple of years ago. It has a lot of different thoughts in it, not only mine, but others that I endeavor to give credit to as I share them each day as well as I share them in the book. So I'm praying that over the next few minutes, I will plant some seed that will be motivational and inspirational for you and maybe others if you will share it. All right. Very short here. Let me give you this thought. Bill Johnson wrote and said the church has an unhealthy addiction to perfection, the kind that makes no allowances for messes. Now, isn't that true? All right. An unhealthy addiction to perfection. Let me tell you something, friend. It doesn't really matter who you are. You're going to mess up sometimes. It doesn't matter how good you're trying to get it. It still, at times, is going to be difficult. You're going to make decisions that maybe you should not have made. You're going to choose to go directions that you should not have chosen. You found out after the fact. All right. And so, uh, we need we need to understand that is applicable not only to us as individuals, but to the church as a whole. You see, the church is comprised of all levels of people, all levels of spirituality, people that have just uh, come to Jesus. They're baby Christians, all right? They don't know how to walk, don't know how to talk when it comes to the things of God. And then you have the adolescents. Then you have the teenagers, then you have the adults, all at a different level of learning or embracing or accepting. And so with that being said, in each stage of life, all right, we grow and learn how to and not to. We as a church have to embrace that. The church never has been and never will be filled with perfect people. To reach perfection, you've got to have perfect people. If you go back into the biblical definition of that word perfect, comes from the Greek word teleos, which means mature, all right, completion, okay, then fine, we do move on into maturity. But nonetheless, nonetheless, there are messes that are made sometimes. Keep that thought. Let me give you another before I let you go. You have many options in life. Options that often dictate the decisions you make. But one thing is for sure for the child of God, giving up is not an option. Listen to me, child of God. You can do anything through Christ. You can face anything. You can accomplish anything through Christ. Now, that's the key. You can't do it by yourself. You're, you're not able to do most everything that comes your way by yourself. But I can, word of God, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Whatever you're facing right now, sitting where you're sitting, you can, you're going to get through it. There is an end. There is light beyond the darkness of that tunnel that you're confined by. You can do it. Make up your mind. Quitting is not an option. We cannot quit. We're on a journey. Abraham put it like this. I'm bound for a city whose builder and maker is God. I'm bound for the destiny designed by God. But in that, this process of, of the beginning till the end, there's a lot of living going on. And in that living, I need Jesus. I need the strength of God. I need the encouragement of the Holy Spirit. And so do you. But quitting? No way. No way. It doesn't mean that I'm not thought about or entertained. It. Oh, yeah, we all go through those days. They say more pastors resign on Mondays than any other day. But then those same pastors take it back before nighttime comes. Hear what I'm saying to you now. Let's keep pressing on. I press toward the prize of the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. There's pressure in it, but the end results, it's worth the pressure. God bless you. Ponder on it. Think on it. God is for you. Goodbye. 